It's so weird how you have like nobody and then all of a sudden boom you're in. It's like where did those three people come from? People know where they're going. Can we have a good tank? Everyone's bowing. Good for you guys. I should get out of this stupid robe. I wish if you hit a new target before you release a spell, if the old target dies, the spell will transfer to the new target. Just, you know, since it takes so bloody long to kill things. Ow! The hell? Can I help you? Weird. I have no idea why it clicked off them when I just tabbed the other target. That's my mass electricity. Oh right, we're at a lower level. Keep forgetting we keep getting downgraded, so I can't use all my abilities. I somehow got two and I just lost two. <laughs> That's right, I was supposed to try double casting. Double casting does indeed work. But I guess if I change to that one, I go back to single. Yep, I'll go. Double casting it is just to get the double swirls. Not every single time. Oh, hello, sir. I guess using thunder on a lightning sprite might have the intended effect. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't care. Oop, something's attacking me. Hello. really loud in my ears. Uh, this right, I'm going to die. <laughs> so very loud in my ears. Interrupted. Oh well, lightning killed you. Wasn't a creature here, but just left it. Oh well. Got 
like, what happens if you fall off the edge? Honest question. Whoop. That doesn't mean I go with me, it's fine. Ah, damn it, it was too slow. I'm just gonna let you guys do all the work because I don't really know what to do. Shaft B4 is now clear. All right. Screaming down could be sealed off in X seconds. Okay. Wow, I think I'm pulverized. Oh, there's no point to me even existing. It just died so quickly. anything else. Why are you jumping on me? Holy shit! I was definitely not expecting something of that size to pop through the door. That was a waste of my efforts. <laughs> he died so quickly. Alrighty. Nice. Uh, greed. Need. Oh, nice. I don't know that fire is really the best thing I should be using on these. I should probably use, like, ice. Thunder or something? Yeah. That seems about right. Treasure cover. Um. Woo! Almost missed that one. Gave would be enough, but no. A bit more resilient than I give them credit for. Oh, okay. I see. 
Oops, should have used three first. Oh well. Really doesn't matter. Die before I hit it. No, you didn't. Hey, me. Let me just go back. Oh, because we get fire sand from them. Gotcha. I gotcha. And now we can go this way. I don't know that I needed to help with that, but whatever. I tried. More fire sand. How much fire sand do we need? Guess we're going up against the Icarus thingy. Yeah? Oh fuck, wrong button. That'd be right. I don't know what happened just there. He had like a shit ton of health and then he had nothing. How, how did that even happen? Why are you hitting me? What did I have to do, buddy? Just look at this. Health just does nothing. I'm getting really minced on though. So, um, can we just not? It's very difficult to do my job when I keep taking damage. Your tank. Ah, oh, I can't use that ability. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, idiot. This is using Blizzard. What an absolute idiot. Is there an element I should be using to kill these things with? Nothing I use seems to be particularly effective. should be using that I don't know and then they just suddenly die I don't really understand it okay and level It doesn't matter, you're attacking everything. Oops, sorry, I did not mean to be on top of you. My apologies. Down they go. <laughs> okay. 
Are we going down? Yes, we are. Oh, it's the second thing there. Sorry. Didn't see behind the rocks there. Unnecessarily attacked. We'll take it. Need to use fire, and I lose it. Oh, I don't think it's a point in using lightning on this dude. I'm um, thunder on this dude. Sorry. Absolutely destroyed. Destroyed. Love his crystals though. The crystals are pretty. Okay, I'm a little close to my own spell casting for comfort, but suck it up, Mish. Should be fine. Boss, then, if we're cut scening. Slaves no more, free, free! Oh, these poor giants. I'm very sorry for your troubled life. It was not done by me, but I still feel sorry for you nonetheless. Oh, they broke cages. Oh, poor guys. Unfortunately, I now have to kill you. Sorry. Very, very, very sorry. If I could have had it any other way, I, you better believe I would have. Excuse you, sir. Daggy's the great. I was interrupted by what? Him walking into me? Oh no, I don't have anything aimed. Oh, wait, what? Who the hell's that dude then? What's that other dude attacking? I have no idea what's happening there. That is okay. I don't need to know what's happening. Another dude running out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Bring out your dead three. Level up. Now, do you mean like my level level up or just my brought down to a lower level level up? Hey, that dude looks pretty neat. Unless for me, I did hit level 30. If I could do my next class job. I guess everybody just skips that and I'm the only one who does that. Loot. I can't use either of that. Music roll. Greed, greed. Need. Let's face it, no one else was there to take it, so it was just me. <laughs> 
so I truly hit level 30. Yay! Right when I was about to start doing Alchemist Guild stuff, I can go straight to the Thaumaturgist Guild and finish this quest. But you know. You know. Um... Uh, is that and then I've got a plundered staff that's worse than what I'm using goes in the two cell you're the two cell pile I think yes you're the two cell pile and I can't use you as well so you go into the two cell pile although should I be keeping the stuff for when I ultimately change class because let's face it if i'm leveling that far up to 50 that sorry up to 60 that quickly i'm gonna want to change my class <laughs> during heavenswood or something you know i don't want to keep playing black mage once i get there this entire time i'm gonna want to change it up so maybe it would be good to keep a hold of these things whatever first strike of minutes I wonder if I should keep them. Ooh, I can use those. Oh, but they don't have any um material slots. Not that I was supposed to say not it matters, but I am wearing material in those slots. Maybe that's the difference between dungeon gear and quest gear. Quest gear will give you the material slots, dungeon gear will not. It's very interesting. Assessment. Hunted belt, disciple of war. So look at that, plus 24, plus 17. That's incredible. And we're just gonna throw it away for 14 gil. <sighs> just seems like insanity to me. But then if I get, if I change class, surely they should be giving me a level appropriate stuff. So if I become a, an archer at level 58, Surely they have to give me level 58 gear appropriate for my class, right? Because then I'm just going to be a squishy level 60, which would be really awkward. I don't know. Ooh. Ethereal brass wristlets. I'm wearing level 1 gear. Ho. Oh. Oh. Ho. Wow. Okay. Definitely a benefit. Yeah, because we can crit her indirect hit rate. I don't need piety. This sounds more useful. Plus, you know, that. Uh, I just got to see what my gear is at, though. Is the problem. Those were wrists. Wrists? Are you wrists? Yeah, what are you at? You see, they're at 44%. If I just did, like, two dungeons, it would get it up already. 72, 84, 69, 93. 83, 83. Mm. Anyway, day trick. We may as well keep going. What were we up to before I was so really interrupted? Yeah, I did that. Yeah. I think we got to here. And the mystical medium thought necessary to affect such a transformation is the Philosopher's Stone, which is itself believed to have panacea properties and be capable of bestowing eternal life. Though success yet eludes us, and years of endless experimentation towards this golden goal had the initially unintentional consequence of unearthing a wealth of knowledge in the field of alchemical medicine. Regretfully, alchemy's potential to enrich the lives of the masses was first met with a wave of distrust, as if our ability to create helpful components was akin to dabbling in back alley witchcraft. Yeah, I think I already read this part. The profession eventually gained credibility in all that. Yeah, I already read this. My bad. Quite frankly, I don't know where I was up to, so we're just going to fast forward through that. Wait. Yes. Excellent. Then allow me to direct you to our guildmaster. Getting his approval is the last test you must pass before becoming a full member of the guild. You'll find guildmaster Severian tending to his experiments at his personal workbench. I must warn you, he is rather in an intense individual. Pray choose your words carefully. There he is. I can't believe I'm still wearing this shitty robe. I don't have any other robes, do I? No, no, I really don't. <laughs> what? What is it this time? Ah, you must be the merchant's lackey. Come to bring me my imp wings. Let's have them then. Hmm? 
Not a lucky. Aspiring alchemist, did you say? Speak up and pray that I heard you all right. I, yes, I am. Did that babbling fool Daedric send you to me? I specifically requested that I be disturbed for nothing less than the coming up of a second calamity. Do I appear as a kindly mentor to you? My research demands my absolute and undivided attention. Yeah, be gone before I'm forced to... But wait. Hmm. Perhaps I can. Yes, yes, you may be the very assistant I require. I said apprentice, not assistant. I've had a change of heart. Congratulations. I approve your application to the guild. It is with great pleasure that, pleasure that I welcome a fellow seeker of knowledge into the vault. We can dispense with the interminable initiation ceremony, yes? Here is your first alembic. Try not to drop it, for there is much work to be done. Yes, much work. Wait. One assumes I have to equip the alembic as a second type of gear. I forgot that meant I'm gonna be naked for a bit. Okay. Well, we're gonna start a new gear set for the alchemist. So let's hurry up and finish this first quest so you can give me some clothing. Gilmaster Severian wants you to use the weathered alembic to perform your first alchemic miracle. Ah, I see you've, oh my god, 97 HP. <laughs> I see you've managed to take hold of the alembic without injuring yourself. An auspicious beginning. Let us see if we can continue this trend of unexpected success. For your first lesson, I want you to use your weathered alembic there and make me a bottle of distilled water. Distilled water is simply the end result of purifying a murky sample of life's most vital element. As such, it provides the perfect introduction to one of alchemy's, I stumbled over that word, god knows why, most fundamental, ow, my arm, fundamental processes, taking a material and refining it into a purer form. To perform this rudimentary exercise, you shall require a pail of muddy water and a water shard. I have a water shard. I have no idea where I'm stashing it, probably my, pill, my prison wallet, but I do have a water shard. Don't know about the muddy water though. The impure water can be purchased from the supplier standing near the entrance to the guild. The name momentarily escapes me. Esmenet? Yes, that was it. It's so sad that you don't remember someone's name. If it happens that you find this basic task beyond your abilities, then mayhap alchemy is not the disciple for you. Which would be quite upsetting, as I detest the thought of having to select a new... assistant. Try not to disappoint me. To synthesize a bottle of distilled water for Gilmaster Severian, select logs from the main menu followed by crafting log. Okay. All disciples of the hand receive a crafting log which contains the recipes of every item they can synthesize. The crafting log can be opened by selecting logs from the main menu. To begin synthesis, you must first select the crafting class. Oh, you mean up here. Right, crafting class, yes. And level of the tier of item you wish to create. Yes, that would be that. Once you have highlighted the item, confirm if you possess all materials necessary in your inventory. If you do, select the synthesize button to begin the crafting process. Okay. So I... Distilled water requires one of those. I have... What does... Does that mean I have 101? Surely not. A little confused. Muddy water. Craft materials. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to look like. Esmanette, I need muddy water, please. How much is it going to cost me? Could you not, like, sort this shit alphabetically? Wait, am I getting money water? I was getting the pail from you. Uh, none of those are what I desire. What am I supposed to get? The pail of muddy water can be purchased by the supplier. Pail of muddy water. Muddy water, there it is. Yes. 14 gil? Jesus, that is expensive. Crafting log is N. Why N? 
I don't know. Okay, I've got one of these. Great. I don't know what this box is for. Ah! Search link. Search link. Okay. Synthesize. Okay, crafting. Crafting is similar to battle and that various actions are used to proceed. Basic synthesis. Increase progress. Craft successful crafting an item entails executing synthesis actions to achieve 100% progress before material durability reaches zero. I hope nothing's changing while I'm reading this. If durability, okay, that's that, reaches zero before progress has reached 100%, these synthesis will fail and some of the materials will be lost. Great. Items that you've successfully crafted at least once will appear with a check mark on their icons. Crafting item for the first time will earn you a special experience point bonus. Okay, so I just keep spamming one. It takes 10 durability per button press. Man, that's steep cost. Sheesh. Your task is providing me with one bottle of distilled water. Come, come. We're wasting time. Purchase a pail of muddy water from Hesmanet if you must. Been there. Done that. Shove this but the sun don't shine, sir. Hmm. <laughs> okay, he's laughing. Just crazily. Magnificent. Your transformation into an alchemist has begun. Do you understand the liquid treasure you have made? Yes, it is still simply water, but now possessed of almost limitless potential. In a properly distilled state, water provides the base ingredient for all manner of wondrous concoctions. On the other hand, a potion created with impure water is not only unlikely to have the desired effect, it may very well poison the imbiber. Look well upon the substance you have refined. See how crystal clear it has become? Now, not the most flavorful of libations, but still refreshing to pour over one's head on a stifling summer afternoon. Tell me, how did you feel in the instant of this purification? I was thinking I needed to wear some more clothes. Such a fine result must have sent thrills of excited satisfaction down your spine. Yes, I know well that sensation. To glean a pristine drop from filthy swill, it is a miracle born of mortal artifice. Nothing can compare to that rush of triumph in the moment, when physical laws bend to one's will. Nothing. The greater your mastery of alchemy, the more ecstatic that feeling becomes. Go, fill your chambers with bottles of distilled water and revel in each success. How many do you want me to make? And now, return now to my experiments. When next you disturb me, I shall expect your skills to be worthy of a guildmaster's chosen assistant. Okay, so I've just got to craft shit until I get to level 5. Fair enough. It's easy when I just gathered stuff in the wild. It's a lot easier to just like arbitrarily level up, but that is okay. We can go buy another muddy pail of water or whatever. Can we just put clothing on first? 